Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to try Sonic. And I got a lot. I got the Cherry Limeade. A lot of food. Cherry Limeade. It's a monk bang. I got this pretzel. It looks like it's deep fried. Well, I heard it was deep fried, and I think it is. And it comes with a cheese sauce. I got there. Oh my goodness. A lot of onion rings. Look at that. And then I got me a double burger. And I told them I wanted dressing on the side. And because I used to work fast food, and I'm not saying that every place is like this, but sometimes fast food places like the squirt bottles of the mayonnaise and the ketchup, um, they don't clean them out properly. I remember when I worked at Burger King, we had a, a dirty rag um, because they were so cheap to not replenish the rags. And yeah, it was it was pretty bad. But so let's hear this cherry lime. I did ask for, um, I can't even see it in there. I asked for extra cherry juice and extra lime juice. Oh, wow, that's really refreshing. Um, I don't know if you know this. I didn't know this either, but it's just Sprite with cherry juice, lime juice, cherry, and limes. So I, I, I told her, I was like, just give me like extra lime and extra cherry so it doesn't taste like so much like a Sprite, so it has more flavor. But it's a really pretty day today. And so, you know what? Let me, so I'm lactose intolerant. So I gotta take my lactose pills. It sucks, but you know what? I'm glad I got my lactose pills because without them, my stomach would be all tore up. So let's just start that. I normally swallow the lactose pill, um, but this is the chewable one because the ones that you just swallow, they didn't have any. Oh my God, <laughs> almost. Mm. Drop the thing. You know what? Let me move the camera here. Mm, there's a glare. I already moved the car like twice. I don't even know if you can see me there. That's not gonna work. I have this little. So right now I'm using a. I have a pop socket on the back of my car, on the back of my phone, and there's a pop socket holder. On my dash console. Mm. Oh, God, I haven't even swallowed the, the tablet, the lactose pill. Anyway, so I have the pop socket back of my phone and then it's connected to a pop socket holder, which is on my car. Okay, so how's everyone doing? I'm sorry, three minutes in, I haven't really started eating yet. Mm. That's good, but it's really sweet. Let's just go straight to the pretzel. There's a cheese sauce. Mmm. Doesn't even. That does not smell like cheese sauce. I don't know what it smells like. It, you know, I would say it tastes like a. It smells like a funky, odd cheese sauce. It didn't even smell like that. It just. It doesn't smell like it, it, really nothing. But the one, the, the, what I do smell, it smells like chemically. So let's see here. Ooh, that cheese sauce is. That's different. I'm not in a good way. Water, soybean oil. That's the first ingredient is water, then oil. And then a whole bunch of other stuff. The pretzel's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Sonic, I'm digging the pretzel, so I'll try the cheese a little bit more because, you know, maybe I'll have to, like, meld in together and... It's not bad. The cheese sauce is not bad, but I'm gonna put that little puppy right up there. 
put this back. Cause I don't can't I can't eat all this food. I'm, you know, it's a monk baby. I can't, I'm I'm okay. I'm not gonna eat it all. But yeah, um. So this is like my official second monk bang on my channel. Um, the first one, I don't even know if I'm going to upload it. What did I do on my first one? Oh, my memory's getting so bad. Look at that little onion ring. I did Sonic. I mean, not Sonic, yeah. I did, um, what did I do? Popeye's chicken. You know Sonic? They make their um, onion rings from scratch, if you don't know. And it's like a corn dog type batter. It's really sweet. I love onions. I can eat onions like watch. No batter. Just put onion. I always like onions. When I was a kid, most kids don't like onions. I loved onions when I was a kid. As a matter of fact, you want to see my burger? Let's get my burger. Mm, they put pickles on it. I'm taking them off. I do not like pickles. Do you like pickles? Put in the comments below if you like pickles. Most people are going to say, of course I like pickles. Look at all those grilled onions. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. There's no salt and it's dry. That's why I got the package. But I recommend you putting your own dressing on it. For sanitary purposes. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, you can't control all the sanitary things going on in a fast food place. But the more you can control, the better. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, if you can control the dressing and you just, I don't know. I used to work at Burger King and I, like I said earlier, I don't want to repeat it, but I know how it goes at some fast food places. Not all, but yeah, it's just, it can be unsanitary. So right now I'm putting ketchup. I just put some light mayonnaise. I don't know where the packet went. I wish you could see my car is a mess. <laughs> so I like, I put ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise on my burger. Okay, putting it on. Uh, and then the onions just fell everywhere. Oh, I'm making a big mess. I'm making a mess. Look at the big mess I'm making. Alright, so. I wonder how long. Uh, does anyone know how long Sonic's been in business? Who owns them? You know, burgers over the years from all fast food places have went down. But then again, what quality has it went down over the years? Oh, did they give me salt and pepper? Yay! Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. They gave me salt. Anyway. Mm-mm-mm. Is this yummy, yummy? Yummy, yummy in my tummy. If I can get the salt on here. But yeah, so I'm at Sonic. I'm stuffing my pie hole. Here's a pickle that they... Mm -mm. I don't like pickles. I do like the German little pickles, though. They're kind of, they're actually kind of sweet. They are sweet. There's no kind of to it. And then I put pepper. That's another thing, too. I love pepper. I can put a lot of pepper on my food. And they didn't give me none. But that's okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. It's so much better with salt and dressing. I definitely need the salt, for sure. It's still a little dry, though. The burger. But... But yeah, so today's Friday. I still haven't gotten my vaccine. I'm nervous. I wanted to get the Johnson & Johnson because it's only one shot from what I understand. But a lot of people are saying, oh, just get the, you know, whatever's available. But I don't know. I'm just really nervous, you know. Um, hmm. We don't know the long-term effects of the shot. I and mean, even if there is no long-term effects, what if I get the side effects from, you know, the shot itself? Mmm, this burger's good. It's dry, but... That salt helped a lot. 
Oh, I got something else here too. I got a strawberry cheesecake shake. They didn't give me no extra straw. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that a straw? You know what? They didn't give me no spoon. That's one thing. I, that's nothing I don't like about Sonic. At least in this area. You have to ask for every little thing. Like, they will not give you anything. You have to say, oh, can I get a straw? Can I get this? If you actually order water, even though you're ordering food, they're going to charge you for water. That's how they are, at least in this area. This is strawberry cheesecake shake. I don't like it. Mmm, it tastes artificial. Ew, that's gross. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. Oh god. I don't recommend the strawberry cheesecake shake. I recommend this. It's a little bit. It's a lot of salt, but it's good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Take some more salt out. You want to see my car? It's a mess. Look at this. I'll show it to you. That's my food. Look at this. I'm messy, messy, messy. But you know what? I like to be honest on this channel and just let it all hang out. So anyway, um, on the, the, the COVID vaccine, I don't, I'm just going to wait. <laughs> I'm eating this nasty cheese because I'm hungry. Mm. It has mustard flour in it. Whoever heard of mustard flour? Listen to all the ingredients. Water, soybean oil, pasteurized milk, whey, melodoxin, sodium phosphate, contains 2% or less, whey protein, modified food starch, D-A-T-E-M, that sounds like a rave techno group or something, natural flavor, mustard flour, lactic acid, it just goes on and on, The look at this, the ingredients, this just goes on and on and on. Mmm. This is a really good pretzel. It smells really good. Mmm. And it's buttery. I think they deep fry it in oil, but the outside taste. Maybe they deep fry it oil and then put oil on top. Because it has a buttery taste. Maybe I should eat my burger like this. Take the bread off so I can cut back on my bread since I'm already eating pretzel bread. Carbs. Mm. I, after this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so stuffed. I'm already getting there. I'm trying to lose weight. Well, I need to lose weight. I'm not trying actually, I just need to. But, oh, put in the comments like, what are y'all gonna? I said, what are y'all? I'm from Texas. What are y'all going to do when coronavirus is over? Or, like, where's y'all's next trip vacation? Because so many of us have been, you know, locked up, homebound, and cabin fever. I'm going to go to Thailand. I'm going to get out of here. I've been to Bali. It's so beautiful. It's really hot. It's hot, a lot of mosquitoes. It's extremely humid, but it's so beautiful there. Bali is so beautiful. I, I loved it. I love the whole Buddhist, Hindu. If you go if you go to Bali and you go to Ubud, which is where I went, the culture is like Buddhist, Hindu, um, you know, uh, what is it? hippie culture. Everything's laid back. A lot of art. It's a lot of artsy. You know, little, like, boutiques and shops. Oh, it's it's nice. Um, and then we went to, I think it was Kuta. Was it Kuta? It was, it was like the city part of Bali. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. 
But if you go to Bali, I definitely recommend going to Ubud. Mm. And the, the rice terrace was beautiful there. I swung on a swing over the rice terrace. So I'm going to go back to Bali eventually and do that. I'm going to go to Thailand. Why not? I'm like just intolerant. And, you know, and, and Thai food is pretty much, for the most part, dairy free. And I love Thai food. My favorite food is Indian food, though. I don't know if I'd ever want to go to India. Though. I mean, well, I would possibly want to go to India, but the poverty would be a shock. And then, you know, they say the Indian, the best Indian food is the Indian street food is the best. But then again, like, because I love Indian food, so I'll be tempted to eat the street food, but sanitary wise, you can call me prejudiced or race or whatever, racist, whatever. I'm not because I've talked to other Indian people and they've told me the same thing. They're like, the street food is amazing. It's the best. But unsanitary for the most part. You have to you know, really be careful. And that's not just India. That's anywhere you go, street food. But it just so happens I love Indian food and culture. And so I would love India food. I would want the best. I'd eat the street food and that's where, you know. I did go to Mexico and I didn't eat the street food there either. Or not either, but at all. But yeah, please comment below. Like, where have you been? Why did what did you like about it? And where you want to go? Like when COVID's over. And then like, so like, I've been to Mexico, and I didn't like the Mexican food because I'm used to eating Tex-Mex. I love Mexican food. Like my favorite food is like Indian food, Mexican, and Italian. Probably Thai and Italian is probably, you know, Thai. But it's Indian, Mexican, Thai, and Italian is a Thai. Well, that's a tongue twister. And so, um, when I went to Mexico, like, I didn't like the Mexican food because I'm used to eating... Where is that pretzel? Let me eat some of that pretzel. I didn't even hardly eat my onion rings. Oh, well. Um, I'm so used to... Tex-Mex, and it's like really good food, but the in, the Mexican food, I didn't I didn't like the taste. It wasn't bad, I just, I wasn't used to it. I had the, one of the best margarita pizzas in Mexico, and the person that went with me, he had like a noodle dish, I think it was spaghetti or something with sausage or meat, I don't know, it was really good, um, which is kind of weird, it's like the best food in Mexico wasn't the Mexican food, it was Italian in <laughs> Mexico. It was during it. It was at a tourist area though, and it was a little bit pricey. But oh, and then I went. If you go to Mexico, we went to X Carlet. Went to X Carlet, and then we went to. Um, it was a whole bunch of parks owned by like one company. And so it started with X Carlet, I think. And it's like a natural reserve. Look it up on Google. Or YouTube. But if you go to Mexico, look up X Carlet. It's an amazing place. We went there and then we went to an adventure park. We do like zip lining. Oh man, was it amazing. And then um, the X Carlet is awesome. I could go on about that forever. Then we went to X Senses. What's like, it, it just like, it's, it's hard to explain. It's like the park. You just have to look it up. Look up X Carlet. And then when you're on the website, you'll look at the other parks. Look up X Census, which was dead. There was hardly anyone there. So we had to pull pretty much all place to ourselves, which I really liked a lot. And then um, they have caves. You can swim in the caves and the lighting. It's, it's beautiful. And then the adventure park was... Oh, man, what is the name of it? The adventure park was awesome. It had... You could swim in the cave with water and the lights, and it was like emerald water. It was so beautiful. I didn't think it was in Mexico. Oh, and then they also have like all-you-can-eat food for the most part, most of the parks. The Adventure Park had all-you-can-eat buffet, and the buffet wasn't, it wasn't, it was amazing, but it was, it was good. It was decent. It was more than decent. It wasn't amazing, but it was more than decent. Um... 
But yeah, if you go to Mexico or are interested in, I would recommend going to um, X Scarlet website. Just type in Google. If you know how to spell it, just type in X Scarlet Mexico, like natural water park and Google it. And then once you're on the website, look up X Census. That's another park from them, which is amazing. Um, and then the other one is the adventure park. I think it's called X Explorer, the Explorer Park. That has the zip lines. You can go like in a paddle boat in the cave, which I don't recommend doing, by the way. I recommend swimming in there because it's faster, but that's just me. We were in that paddle boat for a long time because you have to do two person and it, like you're fighting each other. It's like, we're rolling this way, I'm rolling that way. That's because I guess I'm halfway dyslexic. I don't know. At least I was on that. On that. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. If you go to Bali, I, I recommend going to um, Ubud. I've also been to Singapore, um, which I didn't, I, Singapore was like, you know, like when you walk into like a modern home, it's just really beautiful and it's modern, but there's no hominess there. There's no warmth there. It's just kind of cold and harsh. That's what Singapore reminded me of. It was like so clean and nice, but it just didn't have a lot of that essence of warmth and I, I mean if you if you understand what I'm saying cool if you don't I apologize but I'm sometimes a lot of times I'm bad with words as I get older it's hard for me to I'm like searching the, the words out but um but yeah that's just some of the places I've been to I'll probably if you want me to share more places that I recommend let me know in the comments below and I'll you know tell you other places I've been to and what I recommend um, if you have any questions about Mexico or Bali or Singapore, let me know. I've been to other places. I've been to the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas. I've been to Germany. I've, you know, I've, I've been a lot. I, I mean, to me, I don't think I've been to a lot. But when I talk to people, they're like, wow, you've been to a lot of places. I'm like, yeah, I guess so. I want to go to more, though. And I'm getting older. I really shouldn't be eating this fast food. Look at that. I still got a lot of burger left. Hmm. I have some more of a talking monk bang than an eating monk bang, you know? But, yeah, I would love to engage with my viewers and my audience. So, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if there's something you want me to talk about, or eat, or both. Um, I'm just starting out. This is only my second video, but I'm all about engaging, you know? So,. Yeah, please comment, like the video if you do, and please subscribe. I'm actually, this is not my first YouTube channel. I had another channel. Uh, you know what? I, I'm going to wrap it up. It's going on 30 minutes. I'll, I'll probably talk about it. Or if you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments what you mean to talk about. This is not my first channel. I had another channel too, but they didn't do too good. I, I worked on that for a long time. So, I'll find something new. Um, I only had like hardly any subscribers. I worked really hard on that one actually. But I got demonetized because I had copyrighted music. So too many strikes. It's done, it's over with. So I'm not putting any music on this channel, especially if I think it's copyrighted. I mean, sorry, I'm talking my mouth full. Oh. If anyone wants to know about my, comment below and I'll tell you about my shirt. If you have any questions, let me know. So, I guess it's done. I mean, I don't recommend the shake. It tastes artificial. The burger's good. It's dry. But, like I said before, nowadays, you know, food in general, fast food. It's fast food we expect. The onion rings I barely even ate. They're good. I'm just not. Um, I love the way they smell, though. It smells like, to me, it smells like a fair, like a state fair. The sweetness. Mm. I should have probably got french fries instead, though. I mean, see, with onion rings, I eat like one or two onion rings and then I'm done. I'm like that with donuts. Like, I mean, well, actually, I like onion rings. I'm not crazy about donuts, but if I eat a donut, I'll eat like eat a little piece and then I'm done. I don't want any more. It's, it's too much for me. Um, 
what looks like it with this food because you're probably thinking wow he's not eating much and this shake is just mm, artificial the drink is refreshing i recommend adding more lime and cherry uh, but that's just my opinion There's some two guys walking they look like they're selling something anyway so um yeah i'm gonna let i'm gonna keep someone go so i'm going out and um Hope you have an awesome day. Stay safe. And until next time, please comment so I know what you want me to talk about, what you want me to eat, and all the good stuff. All right. Bye-bye. Have an awesome day.